We're going to try an example of taking a displacement versus time graph and creating from it a velocity versus time graph from the example graph shown here. Now our first step might be to break this distance versus time graph into some more manageable chunks. So for example, one nice place might be here. We can do this again, maybe somewhere around here. Time to pause the movie and try it yourself. Have you tried it yet? Huh? Have you? I'm sending out for a full hit a row. Okay, so once we have these divisions broken up, we can start the graph. So remember, we're graphing down here the slope of this graph. So at the beginning, this D starts out pretty steep. So for our velocity, we can start a pretty high velocity, maybe around here somewhere. And then over time, the slope gets less and less steep, and in fact goes to zero at this point here. So we'll try and draw that something maybe like this, where the velocity is at zero, um, where the slope in the distance graph is zero. After that, we go from a zero slope to a slightly positive slope, more positive slope, most positive around this area here, and then we have a decreasingly positive slope up to zero at the top. So we can try and draw that. And where we start at zero, um, we go from zero to a, a more positive value to a maximum around here, then we still stay positive, we go back to zero. Strawberry Shortcake says zero slope means zero velocity. So after this, we now start to have a zero slope going to a negative slope. Optimus Prime says that a negative slope means a negative velocity. So you have to show that, and we kind of reach a maximum negative slope somewhere around this area here. So we start at zero, we get more and more negative, we get to a maximum negative, and then we actually kind of peter out and kind of go back to zero by the end of this pink line. So we have a very negative slope here, and then we're kind of getting to, to zero down here. I could have even made this probably flatter, almost like that, where I go down, kind of flatten out, I'm almost zero for a while, and I kind of come back. So here I have constant slope here, but the slope here is actually zero. Strawberry Shortcake says zero slope means zero velocity. So this whole section we expect a zero velocity. So we can draw a zero velocity term going along here. That line isn't very straight. That's almost a straight line. Okay, there we go. There's approximately zero velocity. That's still not very good. And then right here, we go from zero velocity here, zero slope here, to a pretty positive slope over here. Elmo says positive slope equals positive velocity. So let's show that in our velocity graph by going from a zero value to a pretty positive value very quickly. And we kind of stay positive for till about here. Then we drop from positive to zero. Here. Strawberry shortcake still says zero slope means zero velocity. So we have a positive slope here, and we have a zero slope right around there. So positive slope, and we drop down to zero slope for a while. And then right around here, the slope becomes from going from zero to a positive number. So we go from zero velocity to a positive velocity. And then by the end of this, we're actually back to zero. And that's our cue. So we go from uh, zero to a positive to a less positive back to zero over here. So then this zero slope there is our zero velocity point right here. Now after this, we go from zero velocity to a negative velocity. So we're going to show that. We have a zero velocity. We go to a negative velocity. We go to a pretty negative velocity. And we're, we're constant for a little while. So we'll try to show that with kind of a flattening out. And then after that, we go from a negative slope to back to being a zero slope in this area. Strawberry Shortcake says... That's it. I've had enough of Strawberry Shortcake. Now I'll tell you, when the slope of a distance versus time graph is zero, the velocity is zero. So we kind of curve back up to a zero slope. And then after that, we go from zero to positive, And we stay at a constant positive value. Elmo says positive slope equals positive velocity for the rest of the graph. So we go up and we stay constant. So we have a positive constant slope here. 
So we have a positive constant velocity here. Now a couple notes. These zero crosses, zero crosses are not seen at all in our velocity graph. So this zero cross right here is nothing special on our velocity graph. This zero cross here is nothing special on our velocity graph. We cannot see zero distance on a velocity graph. And if you think about this with a, your house being zero, you can be driving by your house at a velocity that's not zero. The zeros on the velocity graph are quite important though. So a zero on the velocity graph indicates a zero slope. Zero on the graph, velocity graph, zero slope. A zero on the velocity graph, zero slope. And a couple more zeros here, here, and here, all corresponding to zero slope, zero slope, and zero slope. Strawberry Shortcake says zero slope means zero velocity. And Barbie says nothing because she didn't take any physics. And because she was playing with her tambourine too much. Barbie can't even move. Why would she even have a tambourine? Okay, that's it. Here's another picture of that Transformer guy who probably ate Strawberry Shortcake. Because that's what you do with Strawberry Shortcake, you eat it.